Okay, I got Coach Courtney and Coach Holly here. How are you all doing? Doing well, how are you? Very good, very good. Um, you got a great facility here in Cheerville. Um, how'd you guys both get started in cheer? Oh, goodness. Well, <laughs> um, when I was three years old, I got in trouble for flipping outside and coming in with scratches all over me. And my mom, who was in marching band, not cheerleading, um, decided she had to put me in something. So I started when I was three doing tap and dance and then cheerleading. And then little sister came along. Yep, and just followed in her footsteps when I was five and joined cheerleading as well. So. I got you. So, you. so you remember all the... The, the things that happened yes. to her, is that right? It's the <laughs> cheer routines in the pool, <laughs> and you know, we got to be on the same team one or two times. That was a great photo op for mom. Uh -huh. um, I bet. So we're five years apart, mm -hmm. so. What a great experience, though, to grow up the two of you and be able to compete together and it was. the same team. It really was. a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, so Very now you're coaching people. together. Yeah, we coach together now. Well, that, you can like that. Now, you guys helped kind of open up Cheerville. This yes. is a good, I mean, I, I, first of all, the, the names and everything is really cool. I mean, this is a really cool gym. Isn't it? It's yeah. exciting. It's exciting. It's different, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, give us a little background on Cheerville here. Well, um, we opened up this time last year, mm -hmm. so we've been open for a full year. Mm -hmm. um, we're ending our first season. So I'm just excited about Cheerville villains. Every team is a different villain. Mm -hmm. I do our little ones. They're the swipers. Mm -hmm. And I coach our, gen our junior team, the Shredders. Okay. So. A lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, even though we're called the villains, obviously we don't teach our kids to be that. Um, you know, we go through respect and um, cheerleading gets a rap, yeah. definitely. And so we kind of step back and say, okay, this is what you need to do to succeed. Right here at Cheerville, we're not creating just good cheerleaders, we're creating good citizens and good kids in school. Um, and, you know, make them full all around. Unfortunately, schools are just making academics, academics, academics. They learn so much more outside of the classroom, though. And team sports is the best thing for them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, um, both of you have obviously have been involved in cheer for quite some time. Mm -hmm. um, what, uh, you know, what's, what's, a lot, what's the positives that, that the sport of cheerleading has done for both of you? It's just really helped me, like, strive and just help better myself that way. on a scholarship and obviously that helps a lot um, you know and it gives you the social interaction that a lot of people don't get nowadays I know mm -hmm. we're very different people I'll talk to anyone and she's the opposite and so cheerleading has no I, I, I know <laughs> so the fact that she's talking to you um, you know cheerleading kind of did that and it really helps give life skills that they're going to need out in the real world and it, it's kind of changed our yeah, life. Funny. I mean, that's all we have. That's great. That's great. Well, like I said, we, we, we enjoy hearing you know, all the positive things that Cheer has to offer, and, and I'm sure that you guys are doing a fantastic job as far as you know teaching those to these kids, and, mm -hmm. and so it uh, kind of goes on down the chain. Yeah. So, well, thanks a lot for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks.